Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have something very exciting for you guys because um, I discovered a new um, magical subscription box called uh, Cures and Curses, uh, the secret satchel. Um, and I got one right here, as you can see, because it is called, of course, the secret satchel. Everything comes in a fun drawstring uh, pouch. So uh, yeah, really curious about this one, if I'm not mistaken, this one was their uh, March one, which had the theme Ostara. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what's in this. But before we discover this pouch, if you're new to my channel, hi, uh, my name is Megan and welcome to Cool Scene. If you like things that have to do with magic, with Harry Potter, with fantasy, with Star Wars, with Marvel, with DC, with uh, Disney, with fantasy, with writing, with reading, with anything geeky really, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I'm really curious to see what the secret satchel is all about, so let's open up this pouch. As you guys can see for this um, first unboxing of the secret satchel I'm wearing my comfy dark purple chocolate frog hoodie from uh, the witchcraft and wizardry boutique I will link them down below in case you're also looking for magical comfy wear uh, I'm a promo prefix for them so that's why I give them a little sh uh, shout out um, back to the secret sa satchel of curse and curses as I said this is the first time I unbox this one uh, on my channel it is a witchy company based in the UK. Um, Curious and Curses, I'll link their website down below, is uh, actually an online shop where you can buy all sorts of magical and witchy things. Um, the Secret Satchel is our monthly subscription box. Um, when you um, order that one, you basically get a, a cardboard box within it, um, the satchel. Uh, filled with all sorts of goodies and also an envelope with uh, usually an art print and a uh, spoiler card in it. Um, now the thing, you'll see it in a second because of course I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. Um, during transport the boxes they come in uh, usually are a bit beat up so I always quickly check the items um, to make sure nothing is broken. Um, and then I'll uh, transfer the pouch and the envelope to another box uh, that I have lying around to keep everything safe until I'm ready to unbox everything. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that in a second. Um, what else can I tell you about this one? As I said, um, every um, secret satchel has its theme. This one was the one from March, which had the theme Ostara. Ostara is a uh, witchy holiday that is the equivalent of uh, Easter. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see lots of, you know, springy items. So um, because of course it is um, to make uh, Ostara is, is like the one of the holidays where you can actually where you celebrate that nature is slowly coming back to life. Um, so yeah. I think I babbled enough about this box, uh, time for a sneak peek. So as I said, I put everything in a box and we have of course our pouch and underneath are our papers that were also part of this box. So yeah, we have our satchel, I'm going to open it a bit so I can easily access the items. Let's grabble, 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 grabble. Okay. The first thing I find is a little envelope and it says lemongrass spring wax melt. Ooh. Lemongrass has been used as a healing herb in folklore for hundreds of years. Its magical properties include aiding communication and openness as well as providing protection and helping with look, luck in love affairs. So yeah, really, really cool. I'm going to open it to so that I can show you guys how they look. Ooh. So there are like, oh, I love the smell of it. Um, there are like four um, wax melts in here. And they are all shown, they are so cute. They are all shaped like little leaves. And there are four of them and you have like an oak-like leaf. And uh, 
this one so yeah really really beautiful they smell amazing I love I love the freshness of uh, the lemongrass so really really cool I have a fun wax melter well I have a few of them um, so these ones for sure will come in handy um, and yeah on the back we also have like burning instructions in case you never um, used uh, wax melt before so yeah really great start to the box I'm also going to take uh, our papers because I just forgot that I actually should have started with this one so as I said um, you're normally they co these come in an envelope but um, these were just loose in this one um, so we have um, on the back we have our spoiler card and it says curse and curses Ostara spring equinox secret satchel of March 2021 I'm not going to read everything just yet that's for um, after unboxing um, and then on the other side we have like a little page uh, with more information about Ostara um, it gives you IDs for your altars um, ways to celebrate Ostara um, and there are also like symbols of Ostara which colors you uh, represent Ostara foods used stones that um, are linked to it uh, symbols flowers and DTs uh, so uh, in um, Egyptian goddess uh, Isis for uh, example and the uh, Greek god Adonis are um, yeah, DTs of uh, Ostara. So yeah, that's really cool. It's really fun that they include this. You can always use this in your like uh, spell book or your grimoire or uh, your book of shadows. So yeah, really cool. And I love the fact that it's like on this more old looking paper. But as I said, on the back it's spoiler card. So we'll keep that one till then. I'm also going to uh, show you guys the art print, which is this beautiful one. Um, this one shows uh, the triple goddess um, and also the symbol of the triple goddess um, along with uh, the moon phases. Um, the triple goddess is yeah, a very important symbol and also yeah, deity in uh, Wicca and witchcraft. Um, it is basically um, three versions of the same goddess. So you have um, the new moon, I think it's called, which stands for uh, the young, uh, innocent girl. And then you have uh, the full moon, which is like the powerful sorceress um, young woman. And then uh, the fading moon is like the crone. Uh, so the old witch uh, who has enough wisdom and enough power. So yeah. Um, and all three together for, form the uh, triple goddess. Really love this print. I love the fact that you have like these vines and um, then of course the moon phase. I love the moon phases. And um, yeah, really fun print that for sure will get a place in my magical room when I'm finally getting started to it, I hope. <laughs> So that are already two, well, actually three items if you count the spoiler card along. Then we have ooh, incense, of course, that can be missed in a witchy box. Um, this one is sandalwood. I oh, love the smell. Uh, I also have like um, scented candles with sandalwood. And it's just such a lovely earthy smell and... Ah, oh, yes, it's also a smell that when it burns, it doesn't invade your space. It's not overpowering, it just gives that a little bit extra. So yeah, I love sandalwood. And um, yeah, as I said, you can never have too much incense. I already have a, quite a box full, but still, I love this one. Love the scent of it. So, nice incense. Put you right there. Then we have, and as I said, I uh, always check um, before um, before I um, put the items in the other box because usually the boxes they come in are a bit beat up. Um, and in this box, this beautiful little mug with the moon gazing hair came, but as you guys can hear, it rattled, and it did rattle also when I first opened it and received it and when I opened it I came to the sad conclusion that the handle broke off which is quite sad because it's beautiful mug um, 
I put the little pieces right here. Uh, the moon gazing hair is also a symbol uh, that is used in Wicca a lot, especially for Ostara, because again, as I said, it is witchy Easter, so uh, hairs uh, and rabbits are, um, yeah, very, very uh, linked to Ostara. I also love the like Celtic moon and all the stars, but sadly it broke. Um, but uh, immediately when I received the box and found out this mug was broken, I uh, sent the owner of Curse and Curses a message and he sent me a replacement mug, uh, which isn't the same, but still. Uh, and he also added some extra goodies as an apology, so uh, I'll share that one with you when we uh, discover the entire page. But yeah, this mug is sadly broken. So I'm going to put that one aside. Uh, we still have some other things in our pouch. I'm going to pull it a bit uh, closer. We have... And sadly that one broke too. <laughs> but that's okay, I can fix that one. We have a um, pillar candle, uh, a white like cream-like one. So uh, yeah, it broke but that, that I think is my own fault because I put too much weight <laughs> on it but it's okay I can fix it if you um, use a lighter um, you can melt wax around the um, breaking point uh, so that you can you know solidify it again so yeah that's our candle uh, we also have some other pouches let's go for this one to put you aside careful because there is something else breakable in it um, this is a uh, handmade soap uh, marigold and aloe marigolds are uh, flowers of protection and harmony um, garlands of marigold strung upon doorposts will prevent evil and neg negativity from entering the home Dried or fresh flowers scattered underneath the bed will protect you while sleeping. Okay, let's open this one up too. Oh, smells smells like spring. It smells really flowery. Oh, look how cute! So it is, of course, a bar of soap. It's like this amber color, and I'm going to try and keep it in the light so that you can see there are indeed like dried flowers in them it really smells amazing oh i love this one <laughs> the scent of it is amazing um i don't use um bars of soap a lot um the usually i put them in like this organza bags and use them as like centers in my um wardrobe and such oh this one smells so nice <laughs> so yeah probably going to end up as like a something uh, block in uh, my um, wardrobe between my clothes but still love some handmade soaps and uh, next we have I'll go for this one because otherwise I'm afraid it will get broken um, this one is the uh, big item in this box and when we open it we have a beautiful plaque. I love this one. It is made out of terracotta uh, with like golden, um, a golden patina over it. And we again have uh, the triple goddess symbol um, with a pentagram in the middle. And again, like the vines. And we also have a triquetra um, and um, the leaves of how do you call it again? in English. I always forget the words in English. Yeah, the, the, the climbing plants. So yeah, I really love this one. Uh, this one is actually my favorite item. I love anything to do with pentagrams and I love um, the Celtic uh, design also on the moons. And of course the Triquetra is a Celtic, um, a Celtic symbol. So yeah, I really, really love this one. I was so happy that this one didn't break. <laughs> going to put you aside very carefully. Okay. Um, and then we also have one thing left in the pouch. And after that, I will uh, show you guys the 
replacement mug that I received in the meantime along with uh, all the extra little items that uh, the owner of the box uh, sent to me as an apology. Oh no, you have to do more items. Right. Yes, okay. So the pouch now is empty. So um, the little item that I forgot uh, is this little pouch with again the moon gazing hair that was also uh, on our broken mug. And when we open it we have of course a little black uh, moon gazing hair. I adore these. these uh, I think it's not onyx. I think it's an other gemstone that it's made of but look how cute it is. I already had a moon gazing hair from witch casket so um, this one will accompany it. Uh, yeah, you can have to, to. You can never have too many animals when you're a witch. Says the girl who has already three dogs and two cats. But <laughs> and then the last item that I found in the uh, in the uh, pouch is this little box that is a spell kit for Ostara. Um, you will need a candle, Ostara herbs, an anointing oil and sharp objects. Carve your intention into the candle from anything you are looking for the spring uh, to bring you for new beginning, beginnings, prosperity and abundance. Drip a little anointment oil on the candle and sprinkle with spring herbs and flor flowers. Light the candle and chant as we turn the world towards spring. Great spirit and wise goddess, bless my growth, inspire and encourage me to bring color, passion and energy to myself and others. And then when we open this, we have packing peanuts. But inside we have uh, a little bottle of anointment oil uh, that is um, specially made for Ostara. Then we have ooh, something big. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, you can go more Easter than this. We have an egg, but this one is made out of selenite, so it's basically a gemstone egg. Uh, look how the light plays on this one. This one is cool. Okay, gonna put you aside too. Stay. Okay. And then we have more packing peanuts, yes. And then last but not least we have this uh, cute little pot with herbs. And, um, oh this one is cute. It also has like a little uh, wax seal with a potion bottle on it. Um, and I guess these are the Ostara herbs that are talked about on um, this box. So yeah, we, all, we have everything needed to um, use this spell slash ritual. Um, of course, by the time I'm filming this, Ostara has already passed. So for me, this will be a spell used uh, for next year. But still, uh, yeah, really fun. And I love the selenite egg. This one is so fun. I love selenite because it, it reminds me of um, Moonstone. But um, this one is more, Moonstone is more clear. While selenite has more like a, um, a misty effect, and that makes that it the light plays a lot more in it. So yeah, really really cool, and it has a nice way to it. So yeah, I'm happy with this package. Okay, so that was everything that was in this pouch. But as I said, um, because my mug broke, I contacted um, the owner. Uh, of um, Curse and Curses and he sent me this little um, yeah this little box uh, which of course had the replacement mug um, it is the black magic mug that I got instead of my moon gazing hair one and it is basically yeah a black mug with a pentacle on it uh, you won't hear me complain because, as I said, I love pentacles. So, uh, yeah, really, really fun mug. Um, and, again, pentacle. When you're a witch, you can never go wrong with a pentagram. So, yeah, really fun mug. Uh, that was my replacement mug, but he also um, said that he would 
add some little things as an apology. Uh, the biggest item is uh, this one, which is a beautiful uh, handmade uh, dream catcher. And I also love dream catchers. I make them myself too. And this one is a beautiful one with uh, lots of beads and uh, yarn that has been uh, has actual rainbow colors and then of course the beautiful feathers. Uh, yeah, I love this one. Um, yeah, I can't help it. Just I was very happy that this one was um, part of uh, my apology box. So yeah, really fun item. Though it wasn't needed that he added everything but still uh, then we have uh, this little incense uh, holder um, it is decorated with golden stars and again a pentacle um, again I have a few of these by now but uh, as I said I have a lot of incense so uh, new incense burners are always welcome uh, then he also added this fun little sugar skull um, pan. Uh, it is purple which is one of my favorite colors and the sugar skull always reminds me of Halloween which is my favorite holiday so that one was also a really fun uh, surprise. Uh, we also had uh, this bat a shaped figure that has a little hole in it where you can uh, put like I think it's meant for a candle holder but I'm pretty sure you can also use it as a no I think it's pretty much in a a candle holder so yeah that one is fun I love the little bat <laughs> again gives me Halloween vibes um, I also have this little bag which has blessed be and has again the triple moon or triple goddess um, symbol with uh, the pentacle and when we open it we find a little uh, stone with a pentacle on it which is always handy to put on your altar but also to carry with you because the pentacle uh, stands for protection so that one is also a fun item and then the last item which is still quite yeah needed for the moment is a fun uh, face mask a black one with again the triple moon triple goddess symbol with the pentacle and it's a very nice size it covers your nose perfectly so uh, yeah I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this one um, it also has like uh, these little rubber so you can adjust uh, the length of the um, elastics so yeah I was really happy with this one too because this one is my first like witchy uh, mouth uh, face face mask so yeah really really happy with this one and that were all the little goodies that he uh, sent me as an apology so um time to take a look at our spoiler card um ostara spring equinox secret satchel march 2021 first of all we had um our selenite egg that was part of um our spell kit uh, this egg symbolizes the rebirth of nature, the fertility of the earth and all creation. Carved from selenite, this is the perfect item to add to your spring altar table. Very, very true. I love this one. Then uh, the next item we had was our um, little bag with our moon gazing hair. Uh, it is a gloss charm. Ooh, so it's made out of gloss. May this lucky hair bring growth, abundance, new beginnings, and fortunes. Ooh, I love this one. It's so cute. I used to have a rabbit when I was little. His name was Snuffle. Uh, then we had the triple moon uh, plaque, which was uh, this gorgeous ornament. Um, this intricate circular terracotta plaque has a copper effect finish and comes with a twine loop ready for hanging. The plaque depicts the triple moon design, also referred to as a triple goddess. The symbol represents the maiden, 
represents the maiden, the mother and the crone as the waxing full and waning moon and is often related to feminine energy and physical abilities. So yeah, really, really love this one. Can't wait to hang this somewhere. And I'm pretty sure if my mom sees this, she will love this too because she has like this thing for terracotta and, and yeah, we have our houses like in this Spanish style uh, build. So uh, this one will go anywhere. So I have to be careful or I'm, I'm losing that one. Um, then we had our uh, moon gazing hair mug. But again, mine was sadly broken. Uh, this green bone china mug features a moon gazing hair surrounded by stars representing growth and good fortune. Yeah, growth and good fortune. They say that um, broken glass and stuff also brings good fortune, so let's hope. Uh, then we had our incense, which was uh, this, the sandalwood incense. Uh, Sataya incense is made using the highest quality ingredients and each stick is hand rolled in India uh, use, using methods, methods passed down from generation to generation. So yeah, oh, I love the smell of this one. I love the smell of everything. I'm very scent oriented, so yeah. Uh, then we had our tapered spell candle, so I'm pretty sure that is uh, this one. Uh, for use in conjunction with the below spell components. Oh yeah, right. So this one is actually also part of um, our Ostara spell kit, but it was a bit too big to put, be put in the box along. Uh, then we have our um, little jar with herbs. It's called uh, the Ostara spell herb jar. It is filled with marigold, lavender, hibiscus, mint and chamomile with accompanying Ostara spell. Again, I love the little wax label on it, <laughs> the wax seal. I love wax seals and the fact that it's like this little potion bottle with stars. So cute. Uh, then we also had our, um, our um, handmade Ostera anointment oil, which is also part of the kit. Uh, it contains cedar wood, grapefruit, orange, chamomile and ylang ylang essential oils. Perfect for use with any Ostera spells or incantations for the spring equinox. Uh, next we also had our handmade wax melts. I think that were these ones, yes. So our lemongrass uh, wax melts that were shaped like little uh, leaves. Um, scented with lemongrass to add the zing to your day. Again, I love the, the punch in your face that you always get from lemongrass. Uh, then we had our handmade uh, soap, which came in this one. Um, it is vegan, uh, free, uh, vegan soap with marigold, juniper berry and aloe fragrances, finished with dried marigold petals for a refreshing spring scent. Um, and then we also had, of course, everything came in this uh, drawstring uh, bag. Uh, we are keeping it natural this month, uh, that's true, because normally uh, they come in a fun color that they dyed it, uh, but yeah, this one is the normal uh, white one. And then last but not least, where did I put you? Yes, of course, underneath everything else, uh, we also have our... Uh, be careful, yes. We have our uh, Triple Goddess digital art print. Um, our in-house artist has created a triple goddess a symbol linked with the triple moon and lunar phases. So yeah, that was that. And it also says that uh, this Ostara secret satchel contains merchandise uh, to the value of um, 45.10 pounds. So yeah, you sure get, uh, yeah, worth it's worth your money because this one is just full of things. So um, yeah, this was my first experience with Secret Satchel and I must say I'm very impressed. Uh, not only by the items but also uh, by the quick response that I got from the owner because my mug broke and he said, oh no, uh, that's that's such so unfortunate. Um, I'm immediately sending you a replacement mug and some extra things as an apology even though that wasn't needed. Uh, but still, thank you very much for everything that you added to that. Um, favorite items? Hmm. 
I'm going to start with on the third place my um, the the fun like little spell kit with everything that came with it. Um, though my most favorite from the spell kit is of course this uh, fun selenite egg. I just adore this thing. Um, then on the second place I'm going to put my little new friend, my little black hair made out of black gloss. Love this one. Um, but my most favorite item, and I'm pretty sure you won't be surprised, is this beautiful terracotta plaque. Because just, it has moons, it has a triple goddess, it has um, triquetra, it has Celtic symbols, it has the pentacle, it's terracotta, it's everything. So yeah, my number one right here. So uh, that was my top three. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought about the secret satchel. What was your favorite item? What's your least favorite item? Um, do you think this box is interesting or well this satchel is interesting? Just let me know down below. Also down below but then in the description box you will, feel, you will find of course the link to um, Curse and Curse's um, website. Also to um, Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique where uh, I got this cool hoodie from. Um, but also uh, there will be a link to my Instagram account and to my blog because as usual there will be lots of pictures concerning these items um, plus on my blog will eventually appear a written out unboxing in both Dutch and English with pictures so uh, feel free to click on those links and give me a follow there too all that's left to say then is thank you guys so so much for watching uh, if you like this video please give it a little thumbs up because it helps me more than you know and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye!